Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is a little pinch box and it's a small, adorable little box. You can see the little Valentine's hearts on it. Two inch base, five centimetre base, and it's two inches tall, the same height. Um, but you can make it taller if you wanted. And I am going to use, um, this one is Pink Pirouette and Melon Mambo, and I'm going to use Island Indigo and Pool Party for the next one. And my very beautiful perpetual birthday calendar stamp set. I love it. Oh, I'm going to give it a quick cuddle. I love this set. I have used it so much. And if I never, ever use the months, that's OK, because I've got more than my money's worth out of it, just in the icons and this splodgy, splat sort of image. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Needs a piece of cardstock that is eight and a quarter by four inches, which is 21 by 10 cent centimetres. Can't speak. That is the full width of a piece of car stock. So whether it's eight and a half or eight and a quarter, doesn't matter. It's the length, uh, it, it, the width is what you need. So at least eight and a quarter and then four inches. So um, score it first down the length. So on the short side, score it at two inches, which is 10 centimetres. It's not, it's five centimetres. And then score it all the way down at two, four, six and eight inches, which is five, 10 and 15 centimetres and 20 and then you make a mark at the odds so at one three five and seven which is two and a half seven and a half twelve and a half and uh, seventeen and a half centimeters and we need to use that because I need to score in these marks here and here I forgot to get my piercing mat out so I'm just going to use my grip paper and you're going to score from that point there down to this one let me see if you can see this from the from the mark I made down into the corners to make a triangle and all the way across. So, oh, ding, goes my phone. Actually, technically, it's not my phone. I remember to turn that off. Clearly, forgot to turn my tablet PC off. Oh, funny story for you while I'm doing this. My three year old son likes to play games on my tablet. Went to school and told his nursery teacher that he was playing with mummy's tablets. <laughs> Unfortunately, he corrected himself. <laughs> anyway, fold and burnish your um, straight score lines, not the diagonals. She did tell me about it and she did tell me that there was a gas man there doing some fitting in, in the, their schoolroom. She said, that Oliver's been telling us he plays with your tablets. And she had visions of tablets on the table. Yeah, not embarrassing at all. Okay, so I haven't folded these ones yet because I want to stamp. So I've got my stamp set and it's the hearts I'm using. And then off to the right hand side where you can't see, I have my stamping scrub. So I'm gonna clean between. And I'm just gonna have, oh, <laughs> clean between, straight from one into the other. Yeah, not bright today, am I? So I'm gonna take one across each. Let's try that again. Good thing I went light to dark, wasn't it? Uh, there we go. Shall I have some down at the bottom? Oh, why not? Well, that didn't work so well, did it? Oh, oh doesn't matter. Okay, shift those out of the way. So this one down here, we've got skinny sections. Don't need that one. As I'm recording this, this is about the 15th attempt to turn because I have a slightly corrupted SD card at the moment. Cut up those ones. So I'm hopefully going to be getting a new card um, when my husband gets up off nights because he's been on night duty. Um, so yeah, I have a corrupted card right now. So apologies. I don't know what the quality of this is going to be like, but I've made about 18 of these now and then it stops. So we're doing well to get to four minutes. Beard a sticky strip along that section there. And then we want one not on the square next to the sticky strip, but the one over, and it's going to go on the other side. And that's just going to close it all up. And then just peel and seal. Oh. You know what? I forgot to bend these parts. That was daft, wasn't it? You need to bend your diagonal lines. There we go. Okay. Now peel and seal. 
and then fold in the sides first. So this one's going to be the front, so fold in two sides and what is going to be the back and then this is the front which is going last. Oh, just removed all the sticky strip instead of just the backing. There we go. Oops. And inside mine, rattling nicely, are some chocolate silver dragees. And I bought these out uh, for Valentine's Day last year. They're like very hard M&Ms um, with obviously a silver coating. So just, just bring a load in there. Oh, actually, I <laughs> oh, it's because I've filmed this so many times. I need to punch some holes in. One eighth of an inch handheld punch. This is the second size. Sticky strips attaching itself to me. And you're punching a hole close to the point to um, you know the apex of your triangular part. And it will go through two layers of cardstock without any issue. And then I've got matching Island Indigo cotton ribbon. Very pretty stuff. And this is the back where the seam is, so I'm going to come in through these front ones first. I can pick it up. And I'm just going to kind of poke through with my um, stylus. I called it a bone folder the other day, or I called my bone folder a stylus. I got myself all a bit confused. Um, apparently not having enough coffee while talking and filming. Or prior to talking and filming. Today, given the fact that my coffee cup is just there, it might be during the filming. <laughs> my SD card goes wrong again, it might be. So, um, yeah, I'm not very technical, so when Chris gets up out of bed, the first thing he's going to get presented with is a laptop open to the Amazon page, set to prime delivery, next day delivery. And he will be asked, <laughs> my request of him will be, quick, get me one urgently, please. And then I might give him coffee and toast. <laughs> it's very good to me. Okay, so I've, I've put my ribbon all the way around. Now I can put my drochets in. And then, whoops, just pull it closed and tie a pretty bow. 